Namaskar friends. So let's see what is optimal health and what is functional illness and what is diagnosis. And then of course, ill health and you know, with problems, with health problems and all that. How perfect you are on your health. Let's look at certain parameters. See, only after diagnosis we know the problem. But before that, people are having functional illness. They are not aware of it. So I have made a simple template so that we can calculate our own health score. Let's look at it. See, there are six physical parameters. What are they? Uh, this I've given you my parameters. January 2014, April 2014. In four months, I've improved my health. And then after about eight years, uh, rather. Uh, so look at it. So I'm 64 years. My height is 5 feet 6 inches. My weight should be 60 kg. But I used to be 69. Waist size should be half of height in inches. So you can make your own calculation. So half of the height in inches is 33 inches. So my waist size was high. Lung capacity. How do you check your lung capacity? You take the breath fully inside, hold the breath more than 90 seconds. If you're able to do that, that means you're past in this matter. Next is heart health. So you do one thing, you climb the steps, 60 steps in one minute. So, so 60 steps means three floor of building, right? So just check that. Flexibility check. So if you're able to touch your toes without bending your knees, that's a flexibility. And full range of movements. You have so many joints there. Let's see whether you can bend, you can um, rotate, things like it. So you can decide on that, how where you stand in terms of your flexibility check. I used to be, January 2004, I was not flexible. Energy and comfort levels. How energetic you are. How comfort you are with your body. You don't have pains and discomforts in the body. The most important thing is if you are not taking any medication daily, that itself is a pass mark. But I was taking 11 medicine. Look at that, all these uh, six parameters. I was bad. I was taking medicine. What is next? Uh, six daily habits. What are those habits, friends? Hydration. Three to four liters water one must consume every day. Why? Because we lose water by way of uh, stools, by way of urine, by way of breath and sweat. At least one to one and a half liter water we lose from our body, whether you work or don't work. So three to four liters, what is a must? And gut health, two bowel movements, you must excrete twice in a day. And 45 minutes of brisk walk is a must, right? Avoidance of processed, packaged food, stimulants like alcohol, coffee, smoking, all those things you must avoid. Hunger. Are you feeling hungry? See, many times, a lot of people are eating food because they breakfast time, lunch time, dinner time. How hungry you are feeling during that uh, eating time? How many eatings you are doing? See, I was taking six times. What I used to do, I used to have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, evening snacks, <clears throat> and two times I have to have coffee or tea. So I ended up taking six times from morning to evening. That is one of the worst things happening to majority of the people. So what you should do, you must eat only twice in a day. Let's look at it, how it can all be done. Immediately after waking up uh, in the morning, you drink one liter water, focus your mind on your stomach, you will be able to go to the first bowel movement. After that, go for 45 minutes of brisk walk. Come back home, rest for 5-10 minutes, drink again one liter water, you will be able to focus your mind on your stomach, you will be able to go for the second bowel movement. After that, anyway, you have to avoid these processed packaged foods and eat when you are hungry. So timing is your choice, type of food is your choice, quantity is your choice. So eat twice in a day and nothing in between two meals except water. Right, friends? So this way you will be able to maintain it. Then what you do, the balance two liters, one to two liters, what you do, eat, drink between two meals in installments. And water should be drunk only when the stomach is empty. That means you should not drink water and sit for food. And while eating, you should not drink water. And at least you must wait for two hours after eating the food. Up between two meals, you drink uh, one to two liters in installments. And also, if you're able to do 14 to 16 hours of uh, intermittent fasting, suppose previous day meal, you have second meal, you have taken at 7 o'clock in the evening. First meal of the next day, you should take around 11 o'clock. That's why you're able to keep 14 to 16 hours of gap. That will improve your gut health and insulin sensitivity. Stress management, learn yoga, meditation and all that. You must sleep seven hours in the night and social interactions. That's how it will help you. And then inexpensive immunity test means how do we, how are, how healthy you are. Suppose a lot of people, if it is raining outside, they become sick. They go to some other city, they get sick because change of the water, change of the weather, they become sick. The simple test is if you're, if you're getting drenched in the rain for one hour, if you're not getting cough, cold in the same evening or next day, that's a sure way of knowing you are uh, immunity. 
Now let's look at there are three blood tests only, friend. Three blood tests will cost you below thousand rupees. What are those tests? Fasting insulin, fasting glucose, HbA1. Fasting insulin should be below five. Fasting glucose should be below ninety nine. HbA1c should be below five point six. That means you are not diabetic. These three blood tests would help. See, at one time, January 2014, I was taking 11 medicines and look at my health score was 11%. I was only okay on two points. And in four months, I've improved my health substantially and my health score is 89%. Right, friends? So if you track your health on these para physical parameters, six physical parameters, six daily habits, three blood tests. Friends, my name is Gangesh Shura. I'm not a doctor. Track your health, and I'm sure you will uh, uh, benefit from this talk. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Knowledge and discipline are the gateways to your health. You must invest time in getting the right knowledge. Thank you very much for listening.